Alright, so let's uh, go beyond the basics a little bit here and get in depth with KidBlog. i uh, show you a couple things. Um, first thing I want to show you is some information on the different types of users you can, you can add. The main thing you need to worry about, um, basically, is these two roles. The teacher role and the moderator role. Uh, the teacher role, if you assign a user to be a teacher, that way that person can, um, they can moderate, they can um, edit posts, they can also add users. You might set it up that way if you've got other people in your team that you want to help with your blog, you can assign the other teachers as teachers. The moderator role allows uh, that user to create, uh, to edit and approve the posts, and allows them to edit and approve comments. Um, now that that's a role that I haven't personally used with students, but if you do use it with students, I don't think that's a terrible idea. You might set up a student that you trust, of course, to be a moderator. They can edit and approve posts, edit and approve comments, and kind of takes the burden off of you some. Uh, the way you change those roles is by going to users, and then you can click them, and then you can change your role here. All right, the next thing I want to show you is how to bulk create some users. Click on this add user to class, and then click right here where it says bulk create. Gives you some simple instructions. Uh, let tells you that you can have up to 200 user accounts per class, which is excellent. And um, let me kind of go through the process of getting those users in there. It says gives you some instructions, but what I would suggest is clicking here and downloading the file that they have as a sample. When you download that file, it'll open up in Excel. It'll look just like this. It'll have two columns one column A with the names and column B with the passwords. I wouldn't change anything about these columns except to change the names to your students names. I'm just going to do that real quick. I'm just going to add a couple. We'll keep John in there. We'll put in George, Paul, of course. Don't forget Ringo. Uh, you can put their passwords here if they have something that they log in with at school. You can uh, copy and paste those numbers in here. Or if you actually want everyone's password to be the same, you can do that here as well. All you would do is click and drag, and you'd be good to go. Once you've got that um, complete, you've got all the students and all the passwords you need, you're going to go to File and Save As. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to name it whatever period it is or whatever class it is. It just makes it easier um, to find them. And you always want to make sure that this is CSV. Once you've got that, click Save. Yes. And you come back to KidBlog. In Users, you just click on Choose a File. Find the file you just saved. I saved mine on the desktop. Open it up. And then process it. Once that processes it, it will add all your users. And you can see them if you just click on the User tab. There they are they're in there just that easy you don't have to do them one at a time all right um, one other thing I'm going to show you is how to how your class blog looks whenever it's done when I click here this is actually what it will look like uh, your students names will be over here all the posts will be here you've got some options here to show by this month or show how many you want you can click here to see your own posts and you cute you can click here to do your new post and you can click here to get back to your dashboard. So it's just that simple. One thing I do want to show you is this URL. This right here is your URL for your blog. So if you're going to link it to your class website, or you're going to send it out to people or parents, this is the URL that you will send and that you will link to. What's neat about that, I'm going to go ahead and copy it and show you. Anyone that comes to the site, let's say you just logged in, you're not logged in at all, when you come to the site and you're not logged in, it will actually look like just like this. It will show the posts, it will show the users, and if your students need to log in, they click on log in, and what's really neat is now they have, all they have to do is select their name, so they don't even have to put in their username, they just have to remember their password, which is really cool. Alright, so that's it, a little bit beyond the basic. The only last thing I want to show you is if you wanted to go to KidBlog and if you wanted to uh, request some more space, here's how to do it.
we started off with 100 megs of space, um, but it's really easy to get that um, upgraded. Um, all you got to do is come back to the regular KidBlog homepage, click on support and contact, and email this person right here. Um, when I emailed them, I got an answer within just two or three hours even. And I asked them if I could upgrade my space. I only had 100 megs. And they upgraded it real simple from 100 to 250 um, just by asking. So that's an easy way to get that upgraded. Just email the KidBlog org, kidblog.org support. All right, thanks, and uh, good luck with the KidBlogs. Thank you.